Hi, I'm uh, Stephen Mangett. I'm the Assistant Director in the Office of Alumni Relations at the University of Delaware, and I'm in charge of communications and marketing, which is everything from writing articles in the alumni magazine, posting things online to our website, and uh, all of our social media presences. So the tools that I use on an everyday basis to keep myself organized, uh, you know, obviously I make a lot of use of the Microsoft Office suite. That's what all my colleagues are on, it's how we schedule meetings with one another. Nonetheless, uh, I use a lot of other tools. For social media in particular, I use Hootsuite, which is a great tool that helps me integrate and organize all my social media posts so that when I post to the Alumni Relations Facebook page or to the Twitter channel, it helps me kind of get everything together. And at the same time, it allows me to post ahead. So just this morning I was setting up the posts for this weekend and for next week that will be going out on social media. It kind of allows me to block my time when I schedule my social media stuff so that it's not, you know, every day or every hour I have to go and check. Um, another thing that I use a lot, we do a lot of, you know, uh, IMing here. The development and alumni relations folks were spread out across several different buildings on campus and so instead of picking up the phone and trying to get people on the phone all the time, I can kind of have chats with multiple people. I can be talking with the folks who are planning the reunions. I can be talking with my programmers. We can be talking with so many different people. And so for that, I use Pigeon because it integrates uh, a lot of different chats. So I can have Gchat running at the same time that I can have the internal university chat running. So Pigeon's really helpful for that. Um, <clears throat> I use Dropbox all the time. So instead of having to carry my laptop back and forth from home to work, from home to work, or wherever I am, I use Dropbox, and that allows me to sync up all my files, my personal files, my work files, even my files for my classes. I'm a part-time student here. So Dropbox is great. It allows me to kind of uh, take my files on the go, even on my phone. Um, I also use Doodle. Doodle's great when it comes down to planning meetings, trying to get people all on the same page, especially if they're not all using Office. I mean, there are folks here at campus that aren't using Office, so how do you plan meetings with them because you can't use the scheduler? We work with a lot of volunteers, we work with a lot of alumni who are helping us out, and they're not on Office, so how do we set up meetings with them? Doodle's great. It allows you just to send out an email. People basically fill out a survey to see when they're available. It's fantastic, gets everyone on the same page, no problem. Um, and then I make big use of Google and Google Docs. So we use Google Docs a lot when we're working with one another here. Um, it helps us be able to work on all the same documents and it gives us a flexibility of being able to post things online and have people access them. I also use the Google Alerts as well a lot. Google Alerts allows me then to see who's talking about the university. We find a lot, or at least I find a lot of people to follow on Twitter. I find a lot of people talking about the university on Twitter simply because of Google Alerts. I have them set up so that anytime the University of Delaware is mentioned, anytime UD is mentioned, that it comes across in my Google Reader as one of my alerts. So then I can start following people. I can retweet them. I can tweet at them. And then that helps kind of build up the following for the alumni relations uh, Twitter account. So that's really helpful. Um, and then I'll, one of the things, and it's super simple, is I just use Word. I use Word a lot. We have a shared drive here. And when I'm planning you know, the social media posts for the month, I just have a document in Word. And a lot of times I put it on Google Docs, and it's just 1 through 30. For every day of the month, I'll put down, here's what I'm posting on social media. And then the day after it's posted, or two days after it's posted, I'll go in, and then I'll see what the reaction is. So how many likes on Facebook, how many comments on Facebook, how many retweets, how many replies, so forth and so on. And it's just a way of keeping everything organized and everything together, which is really helpful. So those are really the main tools that I use in my day-to-day -day life when it comes down to dealing with social media and uh, dealing with all of the, the marketing communications that comes from the alumni office and also my personal life.